New poll results in the governor's race are out, and they show two Republicans gaining ground. The UC Berkeley poll found that Gavin Newsom is in the lead with 30 percent. But there's a close race for second place. Republican John Cox is at 18 percent, and fellow Republican Travis Allen is at 16 percent. Antonio Villagrosa dropped to fourth place with 9 percent. And it's not just the governor's race. The Republican in the Senate race, James Bradley, is polling ahead of Democrat Kevin DeLeon. So Phil Matier and I asked former San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown about the recent polling and whether Republicans have a shot. They do think they have a shot, but keep in mind, I think Trump got 40 percent against Hillary. He got 31 percent. So whatever one the out of three were. voters. Okay, yeah. But whatever the numbers were, there are people out there who think like he does that live in San Francisco, as well as all of California. So the numbers do not surprise me at all. Well, and what, what it looks like isn't so much a Republican surge as a depressed group of Democrats and independents. The, un, the uh, undecided pool still remains really huge, and what looks like is happening is Democrats are going down, not that Republicans are necessarily Melissa leapfrogging. Melissa is making a good point. The Democratic Party is split up because they have so many candidates, whether it's for governor and for Senate, whereas the Republicans, for a change, appear to be having a few and enough to where if they turn out their 25 percent, they could make the runoff in both and, races. And add to the fact the Democrats don't show up in June to vote for any election. They just don't show up. <laughs> There's nothing happening for them. It will not be until September or October you begin to see the kind of things that Democrats do for going to the polls. So Republicans will do better in the primary Where do, where do Republicans think? If, who do they want running against in governor and how do they think they might win? Well, Antonio Virigosa would love nothing better than to be the guy that receives the Republican vote so that he could be in the runoff, yeah. thinking that that would translate into a win against Newsom. That's not going to happen, though. Just believe me. I think that guy, Terrence Allen, is going to do a lot better than everybody Travis thinks. Travis Allen, yeah. Uh, Travis Allen. Mm -hmm. And if he gets into the runoff, he's really an amusing fellow. You know, he's like, he's like Trump uh, in many he, ways. He's been running second to Cox, though, for pretty much the entire uh, election cycle. So if one Republican gets into the runoff, it looks like so far it's going to be John Cox. Again, depending on sort of if where we're If there is a Republican falls. against Gavin Newsom, how could the Republican win? Or could? It, it would have to be somebody more associated with how Trump did it against Hillary. Newsom would be in the same identical position as Hillary if he isn't careful. A Republican with some spark in them, some pizzazz in them, some good money and some willingness to wear overalls in the valley would be a real challenge. I'm always a little bit incredulous when people say they're undecided. Don't those undecideds typically go with the front runner? Uh, often they do once they've sort of looked at all the candidates. But in this case, the front runner is Gavin Newsom, who many people know. I mean, he's got huge name recognition. And so the fact that he uh, is still leaving such a big undecided pool of people uh, doesn't necessarily bode well for uh, for him. And I, I think he'll still be one of the final uh, one of the final vote getters. But, uh, you know, if everyone knows who you are and there's still so many undecided people, it's not a great sign. And opponents of Gavin Newsom are targeting him with negative ads, but he remains the front runner in the race to be the next governor of California. The ads are appearing on TV and online with the primary looming on June 5th. So Phil Matier and I asked former San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown about the airways being flooded with ads and if it's going to influence the governor's race. I think it will influence the governor's race because of the amount of money that can be put in. The teachers in previous elections have had it all their way with reference to funding. All of a sudden, however, with the emphasis now being on defunding of direct payments of dues, defunding of any kind of advantage for people who are in the category of, I know, I suppose you'd call them labor persons, that all that's changing, Phil. And suddenly you're going to have these people with a lot of money and with great credentials on performance on schools saying they're better. They probably are not, 
but they're saying it. The well, charter money, who gets it in the governor's race? Uh, right now, Villaraigosa is getting it. Remember, as mayor of Los Angeles, he sort of very famously uh, stood up or took some opposing views to the teachers' union down there. So he was already not beloved by the teachers' union. So he's certainly, uh, you know, easy pickings, I think, for the charter school movement. And it's interesting, the charter school issue is one of the few things that really divides Democrats. There are, I would imagine, Newsom and Villaraigosa agree on just about everything, but there are a couple of really important fault lines, and this is one of them. How much good, how much money do you think the charter schools will pour into Villaraigosa's campaign? They told me that they're going to do 20 million. They've already For the primary? Done. Yeah. Well, they know they have to get him into second place. They don't want to have to spend that amount of money between now and June 5th. But it does not look like you can get him from fourth place to second place unless you treat it as if it's already in the fall. How much do you think voters really care about affairs that have been previously disclosed? I mean, isn't that an issue that has already sort of been absorbed by voters? Well, certainly in the Bay Area, but for folks in Southern California or in the Central Valley who only know him as lieutenant governor and are just now learning about this information, it may be a revelation to those folks. And remember, uh, ballots go out in just about a week. So Election Day is not in June. Election Day actually starts when people are able to send in those mail ballots. So not as much time as we think.